So just recently, Blender 3.4 was officially released, and with that update there has been a change to the Mix RGB node. And I've already gotten multiple questions about this in the comments of my tutorials because I do use the Mix RGB node in many of my videos, especially my procedural materials. So I thought I'd make a quick video about it to make you all aware of the update. So on the left side of my screen I have Blender 3.3.1, and then on the right side of my screen I have Blender 3.4.0. So this over here is currently the latest version of Blender. So in the older version of Blender, you press Shift A, you could go to the search, and you could search for the Mix RGB node, and it would add this node. But in the new Blender version of 3.4, if you press Shift A, go to the search, and search for the Mix RGB, you can see there isn't actually any Mix RGB, there is just a Mix node. So if you're following one of my tutorials and I add the Mix RGB node, you can just press Shift A, and you can just add the Mix node, and then once you add the Mix node, you just need to click on float here and change it to color and then you can use this just like the normal mix rgb node now what you can also do is press shift a you can go down here to color and you can see there is a mix color node and that is going to add the same thing so if you want to you could go to color and add the mix color node or you could just go here to the search and you could add the mix node and then you'll just need to change it from float to color and when you change it to color you can see now it's going to be yellow and that is telling us that it's using color values because the yellow dot here are the color values. Whereas the blue colors here, if you change this back to float, the blue colors are the math nodes. If you press shift A, search for a math node, you can see the math nodes are blue. Now you can also see that instead of color one and color two, we have A and B. So the mix node works exactly the same. Color one is just going to be A, and then color two is just going to be B. And so let's say you're mixing two textures together, so I can mix this noise texture with this Voronoi texture, and I'll do the same thing right over here, so I'm going to mix the noise texture with A and the Voronoi distance with B. And you can see it has the same result. And then just like the Mix RGB node, the factor is going to blend between color 1 and color 2. The Mix node right here, this factor is also going to blend between A and B. And right here on the Mix node, you can use Darken or Lighten or Linear Light. Those are some common ones that I use. Right over here on this one, you can change that as well right here. So there's Mix and there's also Lighten and there's also Darken and then also the Linear Light. That's a common one that I use in my videos. So you can still follow any of my older tutorials which use the Mix RGB node. You'll just need to add the Mix node and change it here to color and then it works exactly the same. So I hope you found this helpful and thank you for watching.